Hey guys, and welcome back for today's video where I want to go over a brand new Siena New York Times Iowa poll. And it's actually the first new poll that we've gotten out of this very credible resource for the state of Iowa since all the way back in late October. And we are seeing some big swings in the numbers with some of these candidates that I want to touch on. If you're interested in looking at this article for yourself, I'll have a link posted down in the video description. And it continues to be this trend that we've been seeing specifically in recent weeks where Sanders has been showing a lot more strength. He takes a big step forward into first place in this poll at 25%. And the sample size that we're getting for this at Siena New York Times poll is at 584 likely voters. So the change here we're getting from this poll compared to the prior result from this state from this resource is Sanders is up six percentage points. He was at 19 points in the prior poll. In this one, he's at 25% in first place by himself, followed by Pete Buttigieg, who stays even at 18%, and Biden also stays even at 17 percentage points in second and third place. And then in fourth place, we have Elizabeth Warren, who's taking a seven percentage point step back. She was actually in first place in the prior result at 22%. In this one, she's all the way down to 15. And then following Warren, we have a bit of a gap between the top four and the rest of the field. But Klobuchar showing a bit more strength where she doubles her numbers from where she was in October, where she gains four points up to 8%. Steyer at 3%, picking up one percentage point, and then Andrew Yang staying even at three percentage points of support. And it's actually not a huge surprise to see Elizabeth Warren taking a step back and showing a bit more weakness with candidates like Sanders as well as Klobuchar taking big steps forward because Bernie is taking away some of that progressive vote, it, it would appear at least from Warren, whereas Klobuchar might also be taking away a bit of that female support that is behind Elizabeth Warren. It's kind of a double whammy for her where when Klobuchar and Sanders are showing more strength, it's not a big surprise to see her showing a bit more weakness. And also, this has been a continued trend that we've seen for Warren, specifically from around October till where we are today. And with the prior poll result coming out in the month of October, Warren was actually in first place in that instance. But this one, she's all the way back in fourth. And it's becoming tougher and tougher for Warren in terms of the polling numbers, at least what we've been seeing in these early states where she had been actually showing a bit of strength not all that long ago, but now she has been fading back. And if Warren isn't showing well right out of the gate in those early states of Iowa and New Hampshire, I would start to become very skeptical as to her legitimate chances to have a strong possibility to go on and seriously contend throughout this nominating process. So another great sign for the Sanders campaign. They're continuing to show this very positive trend, not just in the national polls, but also in these key early state results. And then we have kind of the Buttigieg Biden have more so been hovering around a steady point in a lot of these early areas, whereas Warren has been taking a step back. And also Klobuchar is someone to at least keep an eye on in Iowa because it is the neighboring state to Minnesota where she is the senator from. And if Klobuchar doesn't have success in Iowa, then that's also a situation where people would start to be pretty skeptical that she would be able to have success because Iowa would figure to be one of her key states, kind of like when we go into the next state of New Hampshire, where that would essentially be a very key proving ground state to individuals like a Sanders and Warren, who are the senators from the neighboring states of Vermont and Massachusetts. So those are the numbers that I wanted to touch on here in today's video. And again, if you want to check out this article for yourself from the New York Times, I'll have it linked down in the video description to continue to get updates on the polls as well as to stick around for my final prediction videos as we head into these early caucus and primary states and then also going over the results and seeing how everything played out. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. So I appreciate you guys stopping by and hope to see you back here for future videos.